It is the month of June. Happy Pride Month to all my lesbian, bisexual, gay, trans, plus queer, everybody in the community. Happy Pride. Because let me tell you something. I am very proud to be gay, okay? Very proud to be a lesbian woman. <laughs> <laughs> but I also want to share and educate those that don't know how pride came about because it's not just about being proud to be who you are. There's a history and a story behind everything. For example, pride. Each letter actually means something. It's an acronym for Personal Rights in Defense and Education. That organization was actually formed in Los Angeles, California in 1966. And the rainbow flag, oh yeah, the rainbow means something too. It was actually popularized as a symbol of the gay community by an artist by the name of Gilbert Baker in 1978. The different colors are often associated with diversity in the gay community, but actually have literal meanings behind every single color. Y'all can look that up, but right now I'm gonna move on to what the Pride Parade is actually about. Yes, it is a celebration of being who we are and also fighting for equality. We bring out all our rainbow stuff, you know, the flags, the clothes, everything. We get to drinking, we get to dancing, it's fun. But it all started off from the riots that were happening in the 1960s. There were police raids happening in all the gay bars. It was very common and it sparked an uprise that would launch a new era of resistance and revolution. Think for a second, why are they raiding the gay clubs? For what reason? What are they looking for? It was actually illegal to be homosexual in the 1950s and the 1960s. These raids were happening specifically to find homosexual activity. They could arrest you and write you up a citation of solicitation of homosexuality relations. That, that's a real thing. That's what actually happened. Have you guys heard of the Stonewall riots? Well, let me tell you, the Stonewall Inn. When they tried to raid that gay bar, everyone was sick and tired. Sick and tired of the raids being mistreated, being treated like shit. This is when everyone fought back. Then the riots started happening. It was crazy. They later did a protest and that's where the pride parade comes along. They were fighting for equal rights. This is what pride is about. I don't want you guys to forget that. I actually want to tell you a few stories behind the most popularized hate crimes that's ever happened in the LGBTQ community. I'm only going to name a few. There's so much more. There's a lot still happening till this day, especially towards the trans community. On June 24th, 1973, 32 people died of fire or smoke inhalation as the result of an arson attack on the upstairs lounge a gay bar in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I know a lot of you have heard this story before. Brandon Tina, a trans man, was raped and later murdered in 1993 when his birth gender was revealed by police to male friends of his. The events leading to Tina's death were depicted in the movie Boys Don't Cry. Are you a girl or are you not? There's a real easy way to solve this problem. And there was a lot of talk shows that brought on guests revealing someone's crush to a friend. But this was different. Scott Emager was murdered on March 9th, 1995 after revealing his attraction to his friend Jonathan Schmitz on the Jenny Jones Show episode about secret crushes. Did I? No, we're good friends. Well, guess what? It's Scott that has the crush on you. You lied to me. <laughs> Schmitz purchased a shotgun to kill Emager and did so after Emager implied he still was attracted to him. Schmitz then turned himself in to police. And Matthew Shepard, he was a gay student who was fatally attacked in Laramie, Wyoming on October 7th, 1998. Shepard was tortured, beaten severely, tied to a fence and abandoned. He was found 18 hours after the attack and succumbed to his injuries less than a week later. And let's talk about the latest mass shooting towards the gay community. On June 12, 2016, Omar Mateen, a 29-year-old man, killed 49 people and wounded 53 more in a mass shooting inside Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Orlando police officers shot and killed him after a three-hour standoff. 
That was recent guys, that was just a few years ago. And there's a reason why I wanna shed light onto these stories. People forget what the Pride Parade stands for and what Pride Month stands for. And especially the younger ones, they don't know nothing about this. People like me who's an activist fight for our rights. I was born as an American citizen here in the US without having the right to get married the second I was born, because I'm gay. As soon as I can start walking the streets and protest, I did that, and now we are able to get married. But the fight does not stop here. Harassment is still happening, housing and work discrimination is still happening, violence and hate crime is still happening to our community. So while you guys are out there celebrating your life and celebrating your love, I also want you to walk for those who lost their lives and for those who fought for us to have equality. Because oppression in our community is still happening till this day. And a lot of hate crimes towards the trans community is not being solved. They're not taken seriously. We need something to happen. So have fun for Pride Month, guys. And please, please do your own research as well. Educate yourself as much as you can. The next footage that I leave you is footage from Chicago. I went to protest for black trans lives because they are actually the most oppressed in this country and they are the ones that are being killed the most without their cases being solved. So please shed light to this and please share awareness to everyone you know, everybody you know. Enjoy Pride this year guys and enjoy all the years after. Keep fighting.